I'm Keto Diamond, but this is not a keto video. This is a Goodwill haul and a couple little knickknacks from Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> uh, we found some really cool deals at Goodwill this week, and I thought I would share them with you. I think it's fun to do a few extra things, get out of my comfort zone a little bit, and have a little bit more content for people who are interested in this kind of thing. Now, if you like haul videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know below if you found anything neat or interesting that you, you thought was kind of cool. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the prices on some of these things when we price them later. Um, I'm not interested in making money this way. It's just, honestly, shopping at these places is the only way I'm going to have anything nice. Um, like, I've got a $1,000 purse. It ain't for sale. Because I'm never going to have one again in my lifetime unless I accidentally get it at Goodwill. But I got some pretty cool things, some pretty cool finds. Um, quite accidentally, I just bought things I liked and Corey bought things she liked. And it turned out some of them were quite expensive when they were new. So anyway, check all this out. Got me some boots to go with my Halloween outfit. Uh, very low heel, very kind of high. Um, they fit fantastically but I've got so much loose skin back here I got both times I, I had my daughter and my husband uh, be very careful zipping them up in the back for me so that um, yeah I didn't pinch my loose skin meats uh, Anthony come back here let me see your shoes come here it's another acquire these are going to be great for him they're easy to slip on and off in the van and take him in and out and during the winter we can just put some socks under it as long as it's not raining but he don't have to walk so just to keep his feet warm and off the concrete I think we did good. What do you think, sir? Oh, let me show y'all. They got a little button feature down them. Uh, although they are a zipper all the way down the back. Do you like? Do you like yeah. those boots? Yeah. All right. Very nice. They look great. Uh, look like they've hardly been worn, which they probably have hardly been worn. But yes, I just wanted to try them out over jeans. They do fit over jeans and, of course, socks. The only thing is they're a little snugger and less comfortable with the jeans on but it would work and I guess you could break them in a little bit stretch them out a little bit so I got also some books for me and Zach to read for bedtime I wanted short sweet simple to the point but long enough for him to enjoy and some books that I got uh, that most everybody liked from their childhood this one I've never seen or heard of before but it's definitely something he's gonna like uh, the very scary haunted house so it's gonna be a little scary book for us We've got the prince and the pauper ignore Mickey Mouse <laughs> Still a good story. We got Hercules, 101 Dalmatians, Alice in Wonderland. Who doesn't love Scrooge McDuck? So we got Scrooge McDuck's Silly Day and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe in, of course, small short form. So this is going to be great to read and he's going to enjoy it. There's also a library up the road that allows us to basically exchange books. You bring books you don't want no more, and they've got a section of books that you can take home with you for free. So I'm hoping, now that I've got like seven or eight little books, when we're done with these, we can take them to that library and just switch them out for some more kids' books instead of having to go to Goodwill and buy some more and have a bunch of excess books laying around. And of course, we'll keep Zach's favorites. So, y'all, so I just got these today at Goodwill. They look brand smacking new. They say, golly. New York Lug Company, NY Lug Co. And they have the Lugs logo on the side. We're really, really, really liking these. Um, and I think they're brand new. Certainly nobody wore them long with the tag thingy still on them. The noise is him. <laughs> Again, we think that's a little Tourette's thing. Loving these. Guys, so here they are. Um, they're a little snug, so I'd like to get them broken in before we could go like hiking or anything else anymore. Um, who knows? <laughs> but I think they would make great hiking boots. Got this for Athena. It's so cute. It doesn't do anything as far as I can tell, but it makes like noise. The tail clicks and stuff. The little legs do kind of little noises. And it's just, it's kind of cute. That's all. I also got this for baby Athena today. I think it's cute. She loves toy cars, and I thought that would be adorable. It's a little toy unicorn. Yeah, you can play with it a little bit and see what it does. It just kind of clicks, honestly. I just thought it was cute for her. But she really likes toy cars, so I thought she'd really enjoy pushing that around. 
All right, you guys, we got some more bedtime storybooks for Zach. Um, and something really cute I can't wait to show you. And it's kind of on the same lines. So it's a Winnie the Pooh book, Presents from Pooh. You hear Zach over there snorting. We got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, and then we got this Read to Tiger. It looks like it's going to be cute. And Dragon, wait, what is it called? The Dragon and the Unicorn. So this looks like it's going to be a really good little book. It's a little bit longer, so we might save this for a weekend night. But, um, yeah, these are the books I got him. Since Zach has gotten really into bedtime stories, this little whatnot really spoke to my heart. I don't know if it's a dragon, dragons or dinosaurs, but I think it's a grandma dragon dinosaur thingy reading to a grandchild. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's anything special at all. I just found it for a couple bucks at Goodwill and fell in love with it. Can't really tell what it says or anything. If I can get it. The tag was partially on it, so. Check out what Corey got today at Goodwill. Um, she didn't know what it was at first. When she, when I smelled it, I knew exactly what it was. But she knew what this design was. Corey, get the baby. Uh, I, okay. Well, I got, um, I've had a set like this with a mirror, a comb, and a brush. Now, the comb and the brush have been long since gone, but she still has my mirror. I've had that since I was a kid. This is a 1940s oops, sterling silver top powder set thing. You put uh, face powder in there. So I thought that was really kind of cool. I also got this thingy majig here. This is a VR, VR headset. She said it's like an $80 one, and she got it for like five bucks. And it's kind of cool. It's got earphones and stuff that come out of the side of it. I couldn't use this. It made me dizzy and nauseous. But, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? didn't get much at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to show you these. I got uh, two pumpkin spice candles and some two packs of batteries. And some keto snacks that were terrible. And some cashews that were amazing. Anyway, clearly, I love these pumpkin spice candles. They smell fantastic. Before I get into price, I thought I would show you these boots a little bit better. Um, because you couldn't really see them in the video after I... You know, after I recorded it, I was like, well, they're not real clear. But they have these great little, um, I guess, button-like details on them all the way down the side. And then on the side, wait, on the back is that zipper. But again, with my loose skin meat back there, I have to be very careful, hold my skin taut, and be very, very careful. Mm, I, mm, I don't want no zipper injuries. But they're really, really nice boots. And they are real leather. I did look it up on the website. I'm hoping they are semi-water resistant. I know they're going to be warm. They got a, a, a nice, I don't really know what that is in there, but it's a nice fabric. It's quite soft. So I'm hoping they will be slightly water resistant for this price. They better be. I'm just saying. <laughs> Here's the little shoes I got Anthony. Now I know since wintertime's coming, people are probably going to be like, but those are summer shoes. But this kid's got the feet you would not believe. He's got little fat feet. It's hard to find a shoe that fits him. So these are one size bigger than he needs in length, but you can adjust the back and make them tighter. So uh, they fit his width though. So that's why these were kind of important, even though, like I said, it's it's coming up on winter time. Plus we can carry him and put socks on him and stuff like that. But we do, he does have some winter boots. They're just kind of hard to get on his little fat feet. Um, these are just simple, throw them on, take him out of the van and run in or whatever, you know, so. So that's where my little darling's gonna live. I love that. And yes, there are more pictures of Zach and Athena too. Uh, Destiny had this little photo book made up and these photos made up. I've got some more great photos all over the place. I wanna show y'all this. This my mom accidentally gave my grandson the other day. Right, so like I was saying, this my mom accidentally gave it to my grandson. Yes, by accidentally, I mean Zach begged her for it. She didn't necessarily wanna give it to him, but she did anyway. It's a great little trinket box with a Bible verse on it. Uh, So I'm, I'll, I'll let y'all just read that for yourself. I said it long enough for, for me to read it. The reason it's a great thing, hold on, hold on, I gotta get it open, is that Zach's great-grandmother, Haley's grandma, gave him this the other day. I don't know why she thought it was a good idea to hand a, a six-and-a-half-year-old child a real gold bracelet, but this is his mother's bracelet that his father actually bought her. Um... I'm sorry, the, the lighting is messing with it. It's not that bright and shiny. But this is a beautiful little bracelet. And uh, 
keep Zach from losing it, I put it in a trinket box. Now, we do have a large memory box of her stuff, but um, that needs its own special little space. He can potentially give it to, I don't know, a wife or a girlfriend when he gets older. Preferably a wife, you know, that way she's guaranteed to stick around for a little while anyway. All right, so I'm going to start with those uh, knee-high boots. I went on that website just to check it out, just to see what they were worth. I didn't see a single pair of knee-high boots on that website for less than $150. Um, and they ranged upward to, as far as I could tell, about $295. Couldn't find that exact pair of boots. Who knows? Maybe they were the cheapest ones on the site. I don't know. But it's neat. Um, I just I had to share that with you. Oh, oh, that little trinket box Corey got. She looked it up. Now, it's quite old. Um, it's from the 1940s. Of course, women back in the day used to love those big dressing mirrors. We all love them. I think we all kind of daydreamed about having one if we had an auntie or grandma who had one like that. Um, and, and I had one, but I never had real nice stuff to go on it. Um, however, she's got my mirror that matches that little trinket box. It's not really a trinket box. It's a powder box, face powder and stuff. Of course, you can put trinkets in if you want to. But um, the original set that I had was from one of my aunties, but it's been lost over the years. And it has a, it was a comb, a brush, a hand mirror, and a small handheld mirror. A uh, handheld mirror, which I also think probably at one point was on a trinket box like she got. She looked it up. That one is worth around about $135. It is sterling silver. They do have ones made out of cheaper material, but she looked up and got that one that little dinosaur thing uh, I'm sorry dragon thing now I looked it up it said made in England so the little tag got my eye so I looked it up now they're not very expensive much I don't think I found them ranging in price from about $14 on eBay to $140 at auction so I have no idea but anyway it is a grandma dragon reading to one of her grandchildren and when I saw it in Goodwill I hate knickknacks they just they, they collect dust Seasonal knickknacks are fine. You're gonna put them away in a few months, but knickknacks they just collect dust and they get on my nerves. But that one it spoke to my heart because I read to Zach every night, and I was like, I have to have this. I love it. And when I looked it up, I was like, oh. And it's um, what are they called? Jumbly dragons from England, um, and a lady has like a whole line of them, and they're just adorable. And it's it's quite a large piece. Hold on a minute. So as you can see, it's quite a little sizable thing. The baby's holding this little shiny ball. Grandma's reading the little tablet thing, probably passing down some ancient knowledge. They are gorgeous, though, and I just, like I said, it spoke to my heart, even though I hate knickknacks, so. Cake. Dog's over here thumping on the couch. These guys are a $60 shoe, and these are brand new. I looked them up. And what I'm loving about them is they're water resistant, and that's what I really needed. Um, the boots I've been wearing in the mornings to take my grandson to school, by the time I get home, are sod. My socks are soaked. And it's, it's warm outside right now, or warmish outside right now. It gets hot during the day and cool in the mornings. But as the winter time comes on, that's going to be quite miserable having very, very cold feet. So for these to be water resistant, <laughs> yes, thank heavens. Plus, if we ever do any more hiking or get to go back to the mountains, I'll have something comfy to wear and something, you know, a little water resistant. Although, wintertime or not, I still take plan on taking them off and putting my feet in the river because that is awesome. But anyway, I thought some of this was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. What did you think? Did, were, were anything, did you see anything worth having? Would you have bought this stuff? I mean, sometimes when I buy boots and stuff from Goodwill, I feel stupid because for one, you really shouldn't buy somebody's uh, shoes, but both the pairs I got seemed pretty new and, and the pair I got Anthony um, seem pretty new and it doesn't seem like anybody really wore them much or got the good wear out of them so for uh, one pair to go with a Halloween costume that I will wear throughout the year let's not lie or throughout the winter anyways it's gonna be too hot in the summertime but I will wear them and these lugs I think they're gonna come in big handy um, so I'm very happy with that what you guys think I love him I love it <laughs> I got a drawer full of books here too <laughs> But we're having a good time reading them. So, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Normally, I tell you guys all about my weight loss, what I ate in a day to lose the weight, and goals, and my entire life. I just share everything. I'm a, I'm an open book, bear as you dare uh, kind of person. So, if you like that, stick around. Much love and many prayers. See you in a little bit.